I want to talk about something. Don't disrespect your parents. Don't disrespect your parents. Kevin, they deserve it. They continue to provoke me. It is their fault. So I have to speak up for myself. I have to protect myself. I have to stand up for myself because if I don't, they are going to continue to act in that manner. Okay. So have anything changed? You have been arguing, standing up for yourself. Have anything changed? For many people, no. When you are dealing with a demonic spirit, no matter how much sense you are making to that person, no matter how well you explain yourself to that person, that person is being influenced heavily by demonic spirits. So you are not getting through to that person because they have that outer demonic shell that you have to break through first before you can reach them. So when you do all of this arguing and fussing and fighting and cursing and slamming the door and all of this foolishness, what is happening? You are sowing seeds. I know you have heard that you are going to reap what you sow. So if you continue to sow seeds of negativity, what are you going to reap? You can only reap what you have sown. Well, Kevin, I am sowing seeds of cursing people out, being really mean to people, arguing, and I am expecting God to bless my life. But how can God bless you when you are not sowing the proper seeds to receive what you want? Why would I plant? Why would I say, hey, I want to plant this tree of oranges. But what I do I plant an apple tree, but I say to you, I am expecting oranges <laughs> to grow. <laughs> I want oranges, so let me plant this apple tree. And if it don't grow oranges, something is wrong with that apple tree. <laughs> That is how you sound when you say that you want God to do good things for you, but you are not doing anything to receive it. <laughs> I want blessings from God, but let me stay in sin. God bless me now, but all through your life, you are in sin, disrespecting your parents, yelling at them, doing all of that crazy stuff. I want good things from God. <laughs> Man, I pray that this makes sense. And if God don't give you what you want, this Christian stuff doesn't work. <laughs> If you want a tree of oranges, don't plant an apple tree. If you want God to bless your life, follow what the Bible say, do right by God and receive. But you can't do the opposite and believe that you are going to get what you want. You are going to reap whatever you sow. So the type of seed 
that you sow, that is what you are going to reap. Let me go down this other route right quick. You know, <laughs> I don't do it anymore, but I would watch some of these other people preach or on the TV shows where they say, if you give us this money or for instance, if you give us $200, God is going to bless you for six months. And I am thinking, what if they are not obeying God? So you are saying that God is going to override his rules just because you are, just because they are giving you money? It doesn't make any sense. So you can live any type, any type of life you want to, but as long as you give this particular teacher or preacher money, God is going to turn a blind eye toward your sin and bless you with more money than what you put in. How demonic is that? That goes with my point that I was making, the type of seed that you plant, you are going to reap that. Let me get back to my main point. So don't, these TV preachers that preach about that craziness, don't listen to that. They are just taking your money. If you are going to put money into anything, pass out Bibles to people. Give money to people that are poor, that need food. It really makes no sense to give money to... Never mind. Never mind. But give money to people who are in need, the poor. Don't listen to these nothing. Getting back to my main point, I was speaking about don't disrespect your parents. Don't pay back evil for evil. Let me say this. Even if your parents provoke you, how can I say this? If you continue to show love to your parents, even while they are provoking you, doing things to make you angry, saying rude, crude, lewd things to you, if you continue to treat them in love, not reacting in a negative way toward their words, don't you know that God is going to bless you for that? Don't you know, I don't know if I said this already, don't you know that even giving a person a slice of bread, God is going to bless you for that? How much does a loaf of bread cost? Perhaps one or two dollars. Unless you like buying that expensive bread, maybe five dollars. Let's say that you like that expensive bread. Giving a person one slice of bread, a slice of bread, that is going to give you, God is going to bless you for that. God cares about tiny things. When you do good 
things, no matter if they are tiny or large. God cares about it. Don't God care about the tiny sins? Well, Kevin, you know, I don't really do big sins. I just do little white lies and little whatever. God cares about the tiny things. So if you are sinning in a tiny way, as you say, God notices it. He cares about that. If you are doing tiny good things for people, even things that you don't really care about, but but if it is good, God cares about that. What am I trying to say? Don't fuss, argue, raise your voice, disrespect your parents at all. Don't do it. Because when you do that, you are planting seeds. And the type of seeds that you plant, you are going to reap that. You can't reap an apple tree expecting oranges. It is impossible. You can't sow seeds of disobedience to God and expect a large harvest of blessings. You can only get what you put in. You can only get the type of seed that you plant. Yes, you may get more back, but if it is a certain type of seed, you can only reap what you put in. I pray that this makes sense. Yes, I know your mother or father or your stepmom or stepdad is really giving you a hard time. I understand that. I understand that. But don't do evil toward them just because they are doing evil toward you. Even if they take your money from you, insult you every day and say that you are you are a no good son daughter whatever always treat them with love if you don't have anything good to say to them don't say anything most of the time when I don't know if I should say this. If I feel like someone is acting, you know, all weird and stuff like that, I am not going to say anything. Because perhaps saying something is going to blow up an argument. And I am not with, let me say it right. <laughs> I don't like arguing. I am not for that. So whatever you do, don't disrespect your parents because you are going to pay for it. Myself, I used to argue and raise my voice and all this stuff with my parents. I did. But the more I've begun to understand of God, I found out that it is wrong. And bad things were happening to me because whether it was because of my ignorance or anything else, it did not matter. Bad things was happening to me because I was being disobedient toward God. When they would raise their voice, I would raise my voice and all this stuff here. Don't do that. 
You can't do that. Well, Kevin, you know, when I was a kid, they treated me so wrongly, so now I am just going to tell them off. You can't do that. You can't do that. So what are you going to do? Tell off everyone that treats you wrongly? Yes. The type of seed that you plant, you are going to get that back. So that disrespect that you are showing to your parents, you are going to reap a curse. What if my parents are bad? Still. They are your parents. If your parents are bad and they treat you wrongly, you better believe bad things are coming their way. You better believe it. But you don't want to take part of a curse because someone is being manipulated by demons. You know that a person is being influenced by a demon or demons. Why are you going to become a puppet for that demon as well? Think about that. It is a demon manipulating the, your mother or father. But you are going to play in that and let that demon manipulate you. Makes no sense. It really makes no sense. Take it. This one time, I was in tears. I went home and what this person said to me, it really hurt me, really hurt me bad. And I wanted so badly to say something back, like, so badly I wanted to just <laughs> you have no idea but I kept on telling myself don't say anything don't say anything don't say anything but it was so hard <laughs> and I was getting really angry about it and I just wanted to like call that person and just I had to get down on my knees and start praying over and over and over again, asking God to calm me down. God, please calm me down. I continued to say that about 20 times or so, back to back. God, please calm me down. God, please calm me down. More and more and more and more because I could not think. You know, when you get so angry that your your thoughts only can contemplate on that one thing, that is pretty much how I was. I tried to think about other things, but that kept on poking at me and I could not focus on anything else. And after praying for an hour or so, I calmed down and I did not really think about that incident, but it was so demonic. Don't be manipulated by demons. Don't let it happen. Let me stop here. We have to understand that demons play a huge part to our lives. They play a huge part in our lives. Some people believe that demons are down in hell just doing their thing and there are no demons on this earth. Some people believe that. If that was true, 
this earth would be a much better place. But the reason why this world is so chaotic because demons play a huge role in this world. Don't be manipulated by demons. Stop it. It is not worth it. Respect your parents. Do things for your parents, even if they don't deserve it, as you think. Show them love as if they were good parents. Even come by their home and talk to your parents, if you are able to. If you are able to. Call your parents as well, if you can. Do things for your parents as if they are good parents. Well, Kevin, it really hurts me to be by them. Yes, it is going to hurt, but the more you do it, it is going to become second nature. Like, it is going to get to the point where it is not going to be hard. You won't even think twice about it. Think about that. You want blessings from God, right? I do. So if you want blessings from God, do right by people whether they deserve it or not. What reward is there to love people that love you? What reward is there to want to be around people that are very easygoing? What reward is there? The reward comes when there is pressure. When you have to deal with people that are difficult. But you are still doing things for them. You are still loving them no matter what. I believe that is in Matthew 5. Ah... Uh, Matthew chapter 5, I forget what verse. It is easy to love the people that love you, but it is much more difficult to love people who cause you pain. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.